The new QE2 and 65th Avenue interchange project connecting Leduc to the Edmonton International Airport is now complete. Today I'm taking you on a trip down the QE2 highway to show you what this project is all about. Join me to see the many features of this construction project. This brand new interchange which runs over the QE2 highway opened to the public on Friday, October 24th. The interchange sits right near the southern runway at the airport and only a few kilometers from the main terminal. Construction began on this project in 2022 and it took three years to complete with a total price tag of $122 million. Project costs were shared between the City of Leduc, Alberta Transportation and the Edmonton Regional Airports Authority. The project features include an overpass running over the QE2 highway adjacent to the pre-existing 50th Street Bridge, new on and off ramps from the QE2 highway, ramp and intersection improvements, two traffic circles, and completion of an airport perimeter road. If you're coming to the airport from Edmonton to catch a plane, you really wouldn't take this new interchange. You'd either take the Highway 19 exit, or the airport road exit, which is the most direct route to the main terminal. This new interchange offers a third option of getting to the airport terminal, but it's more so intended for large trucks moving cargo and supplies. A statement by the provincial government reads, This critical infrastructure will support safety and ease of movement of people and goods. It will foster increased trade and improve transportation logistics in support of access to and from the Edmonton International Airport. They also state that this project will save an estimated 1.8 million hours each year on commercial traffic, which will translate to about $211 million in annual savings for trucking costs. Alright, I'm driving south here on the QE2, just passing the airport road turnoff to the right. Also passing by Costco and the Outlet Mall on the right hand side. You can see the City of Leduc sign there as well. You'll want to stay in the right hand lane at this point in order to take exit 519 with signage marked for Leduc, 50th Street and the Airport Perimeter Road. As you can see this is a single lane exit which I'm not the biggest fan of because it will restrict traffic flow behind on the QE2 at certain times of the day. We see this sometimes during peak hours on the airport road exit which goes to the main terminal. The far right lane backs up with people trying to exit and it affects the flow in the left two lanes as well. The merge lane going north on the other side is a single lane as well. With so much space available on each side, it seems like a shame they didn't make this a dual lane each way. It feels like a missed opportunity for me. At this point you can head west by turning right and head towards the airport. Or drivers can turn to the left which is east and head into Leduc. This brings up another issue that I have. We have this single lane exit opening up into two traffic lanes which leads to a traffic light. Traffic lights restrict flow and I can easily see this backing up onto the QE2 especially at rush hour. As I round the corner just before the yield sign you'll notice the crosswalk. A multi-use path has been installed which runs parallel to the new perimeter road and leads towards the mall and the shopping district. As we continue heading west there's a large amount of space here and you can see that we are approaching a traffic circle that is dual laned. If you wanted to go to the main terminal or do any type of shopping you would need to stay on the right hand side and take the first exit. This is the 35 Ave East exit and it would take you to a few different businesses like FedEx and DHL down this road. I'm going to take the third exit down the south perimeter road which is the way you would want to take to get back on the QE2 southbound. The road snakes around the southern end of the airport as you can see a plane taking off here.
This road is also deceptively curvy. I was around this area today and saw that a vehicle had rolled over on the perimeter road. It's a few kilometers drive to get back on the QE2 southbound with one intersection ahead. This is 65th Avenue ahead. Going right will take you into Leduc via Grant McEwen Boulevard and going left will take you onto the QE2 southbound. Here again we have one lane of traffic with plenty of room for expansion on both sides. I see this as being a massive traffic headache with long lineups of vehicles trying to merge onto the QE2. Luckily this merge lane is fairly long as far as those things go, which will allow merging traffic to get up to speed gradually. But with only the one merge lane, I foresee a lot of impatient drivers cutting into traffic early behind slower moving vehicles. I've now turned around in Leduc and I'm heading northbound merging onto the QE2 from the other direction. To take the new interchange, you'll want to stay in the right-hand lane and take the 519 exit. This takes you into the north end of Leduc, and from here you'll turn left onto 50th Street. Driving northbound on 50th Street, you'll now want to stay to the left and enter the small traffic circle, which will lead to the bridge over the QE2.
This is a very narrow and tight lane, unlike the other roundabout on the other side of the highway, which is larger and has dual lanes. As I drive over the bridge, you'll notice that it's quite narrow and only has a single lane. Heading down the bridge now, the lanes open up as we head towards the intersection that I mentioned previously. And now we are back where we had started. Overall, I think this project has value in the sense that it opens up a third option for people to get to the airport. I believe that it will have the ability to save commercial trucking many hours of time because this is a busy corridor and a lot of these big trucks aren't going to the main terminal but rather accessing the businesses along this road. And it provides another entrance egress route for those who want to do some shopping at Costco or the outlet mall nearby. But I do also have a few concerns and criticisms of the design. In my view, certain aspects of this project were built too small. Take the northbound merge lanes here and here. Two lanes merging into one is never a good idea in my opinion, especially when it's next to a busy highway like the QE2. Another big problem is the roundabout is a single lane and the bridge is a single lane when it should be two. As you come across the single lane bridge, the road opens up into two lanes, which tells me that they are planning to widen this bridge at some point in the coming years. All it will take is for one fender bender or one jackknife semi on this bridge to grind everything to a halt. This project took three years to complete, and in my opinion, they should have widened the bridge and the north and south merge lanes and should have done this project properly from the start. I predict that within five years this widening work will have to be done and it's going to cost two or three times what it would have if they had just done it properly from today. I'm not a fan of this intersection either. With the amount of space that the planners had to work with I think it would have been a better option to maybe have put a third roundabout here which would lead to better and continuous traffic flow. With the high volume of large trucks coming through here I think stopping traffic every minute to minute and a half here is going to back everything up. Let me know what you think of the new interchange project in the comment section. Is this the right size for right now or should it have been expanded from the start? Thanks for watching everyone and take care. This video is brought to you by Urban Motion. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel.